Very little is known about the childhoods of brothers Yanu and Riku Norkia. According to some sources, they grew up in a very religious household, and the younger brother, Riku, left school when he was only in the 10th grade. Due to his incomplete education, Riku struggled immensely to find work, but eventually managed to find a roommate to help cover the expenses of his Boxburg apartment. The man was 76-year-old Engel Bakker, who was a Dutch missionary. Given that he was fairly old, it is believed that he asked Riku to assist him with many of his daily tasks, including collecting his pension. It's unknown how much Bakker received, but it is known that it was a Dutch pension, so it was presumably a fair amount when converted. Older brother Yanu met and married a woman named Colette. Reports state that she was beautiful and charming with dark hair, and was allegedly no stranger to using her charm to get what she wanted. Sometime in 1995, Yanu and Colette fell on hard times, and had to ask Riku to persuade Engel to let them move in with them. Engel agreed, but soon came to regret his decision, as Yanu and his wife were allegedly terrible guests, and continuously leached off of Engel. It is reported that they often borrowed money from Engel, which they then gambled away at casinos. One day they even stole money out of Engel's bank account, which he later discovered and confronted them about. Engel would finally draw the line, and had threatened to throw them all out. Yanu and Colette would devise a plan to get rid of Engel, and since Riku collects his pension on his behalf anyway, they could keep collecting it indefinitely if nobody knew that Engel was gone. Initially, Riku didn't want any part in the matter, but Colette managed to persuade him. Yanu and Colette called Engel into the living room, stating that they needed to talk to him. Some reports state that Yanu and Riku hit Engel over the head with a glass bottle, while others state that he was beaten with a bat. But as Engel laid on the floor, the brothers realized that they had to dispose of his body. Yanu came up with the idea to take him to Hootsprite and feed his body to the crocodiles. But in order to do that, he had to dismember him and pack him into suitcases. They cut Engel up using a hunting knife and packed him into three different suitcases. While on a train to Hootsprite, one of the suitcases started leaking blood. The brothers panicked and ended up hurling the suitcase out of the window, and as it was thrown, it opened up and revealed a torso, which the train conductor immediately saw and called the police. The investigation was very brief, and the brothers and Colette were apprehended. Yanu had claimed that Engel attacked them and that they were acting purely in self-defense. Police realized that a confession was going to be impossible, and opted to take a different approach. They eventually managed to persuade Colette to turn state witness, which she then did, and she sang like a canary. In 1996, Yanu and Riku Norkia were sentenced to life in prison. Yanu tried to escape back in 1997, but of course he was caught, and the security on him was increased, and his escape attempt would later see his parole application reconsidered, and possibly even denied. However, his brother Riku was said to be a model prisoner, and even continued his education in prison, and would later complete his degree in computer science. Due to his good behavior, Riku was released on parole only 16 years into his sentence, back in 2013. Until next time.